Hey everybody. Well, it's Wednesday, I hope. Anyways, <laughs> how's everyone doing? JP from JP's Tech Reviews back with another video. Alright, what I'm going to do today is I am putting in a new 5950X. Well, actually, it's already in. I did that yesterday because everybody's seen a CPU put in before. But what I am going to do is install that 320 millimeter rad that I made. It's all parts from Alpha Cool. Awesome company. Um, the rad itself is all copper with a Alpha Cool Isla Isler block. I, I kind of weird the way they pronounce it. Anyways, um, it's a square block. It's literally probably two and a half times the size of a and what I mean by size probably deeper than your average block like we're looking at right here hello so like we're looking at right here well maybe it, it, it just it actually holds a lot more fluid um, the rat itself is 60 millimeters thick and yes it took a lot of fluid <laughs> like wow a lot of fluid and um, the hosing on it is going to be bigger than the hosing that I'm using here with the stock, which is fine, and it's been working great. I just wanted to try to get a little bit more coolant. I'm hoping it works out that way because some are being here and everything. Um, and ACs, I'm, I'm actually, I hope the AC back here isn't bothering you. Um, but I'm using a 3-inch in a diameter, a 5-inch out of diameter hose everything on it including the compression fittings are um, from Alpha Cool which I purchased between a couple of places one of them being Mod My Mods another one um, PC Performance both awesome cr companies um, and so yeah with that I'm gonna pull this apart and we'll uh, get to it Okay, I figured I'd jump back in real quick. I kind of pulled it apart and I figured I'm using the H710 um, by NZXT. I like the case. I think they could have designed it a little bit better with some better airflow, maybe some mesh in the front, but it does have pretty good opening um, perforated sides on it, so it, it's, n it's not too bad. Plus, I usually run open case because I'm in and out of the thing like more than I'm in and out of my apartment but taking this apart it's quite easy you just basically snap the bottom the back panel comes off with one button they make it really really convenient don't mind the camera I just almost knocked it over and that's it the top pops right off pretty much what you have with this is all these just little clips they kind of squeeze in and grip right on it's very solid insulated and um, I, I just really love NZXT other than they I think they could work a little bit more it wouldn't have hurt and it actually would look nice to have some some mesh in the front but it's okay um, they just make a great case they ha they have an inner most of their cases have an inner arm for extra support which to be honest with you i really don't think it's needed it might get in the way of some things and i'm thinking of actually taking it out to see how it looks but we'll we'll mess with that later so anyways i'm going to just pull a few things off here and get this ready for the radiator to go in and put some thermal paste on i'm using arctic MX4 it's an it's a it's a non-metallic um, ceramic type paste and it's one of the best out there 
so as you can see I'm pretty much down to just a screw on the front here taking that out but one of the things I wanted to show is even though I'm running an open case you can see the uh, little dust, dust filter is, is it doing its job I'm surprised it pulled that much in wow it's gonna need a little bit of a cleaning well granted it's been about a year that it's been inhaling everything around it so I'm gonna pull this off right here and strangely enough I can't I can't find a power wire from the cooler master three-in-one fan that I have on it I love those things and it's really a nice it's really a nice fan setup you'll see it after but um it's it's kind of an all-purpose fan it's really not it's the, it's a high static pressure but not nearly like the ones that I'm putting on the other one and the radiator the other radiator the gaps are a little bit wider it, it, there's more th I think there's more thought put into the cooling process of how the radiator was built versus something that's coming off of like a um a production line basically but i mean don't get me wrong land lead makes great product and uh, you you pay for it okay i wanted to bring it in a little bit closer this time um yeah i'm not a professional editor but i do my best and if everybody out there could give me a, a thumbs up, I'd really appreciate it. I mean, it would really greatly be appreciated. Um, it does help the channel. So, anyways, onward. Okay, as you can see, I, I'm a big fan. I don't, I don't really think I need this, but I'm a big fan of using... I, I like these 4-in-1 connectors. You one run, you know, run, run, you, you run one USB, and you can put four other connectors but being one ARGB to power three fans I think I'm just gonna end up eliminating this I, there's really no need for it from what I can see and another thing that I am a big fan of is using these little power connectors these little hubs they're, they're not a lot of money and you can put four fans on it one going it, it, it's just it just so much time you save on it so i've already popped those out this and i'm gonna think about what i want to do what do i want to do with that what do i want to do all right so we'll get right down to it so i really can't stress enough and i'm sure people have heard this before but when you're taking off any cooler you should always I know this could get a little messy the way I'm doing it and then I will lay it down when I put the other one in but for this I'm just doing it this way but you really once you get it all unhooked and actually Leanne Lee made this one easy because I didn't even have to remove the uh, the brackets on the motherboard so that that was a, that was a big plus but with this new one yes I'm gonna have to put something different but you always want to give it a twist if you yank it straight off you might pull the cover right off the CPU I've seen that happen too many times people out there on the Facebook oh what do I do well basically it really as long as you I mean if you're just pulling it off don't put your fingers on it but you're not gonna hurt anything you just pop the cover back on I don't know if there's any type of type of glue or anything you could put a little dab of to hold it down more securely but I don't think you really need it. You just kind of put it on and it's just to protect the uh, inners of the CPU. Okay, so here we are and when I get the brackets, this is ready to come off. It's just hanging on there by a thread now. There it goes. Yeah, see? I might as well. Okay, you can see the thermal paste was very well distributed over that it had good contact thermal paste is a nightmare i i ugh the stuff is it's horrible 
90% alcohol. Is it 91% rubbing alcohol? And another thing that's really great for cleaning your components. I mean, if something happens, I, it's never happened to me, but is that WD-40 electronics cleaner? Or uh, they have other professional electronics cleaner spray that you can spray right on that stuff, let it dry. And you know, it, it's, it's non-conductive, it won't hurt anything, it's not greasy or anything. Definitely worth it. I hope the sound is not, well I can change it in the editing program, but I, I, I was using on the other part of this video, I was using a new wireless mic that I had and it's really nice. Um, but nothing sounds like hardwired and that's what I'm doing today. I'm eventually going to get a boom mic. Well I have a boom mic actually, I just got to get it set up so I can hang it. But there's no sense in doing it here because, as I've been saying for a while, this is only temporary until things get rolling. And actually, they have been kind of getting rolling. And like I said, I've got CPU and stuff. Oh, no, CPU. Yeah, I got the CPU put in that MSI. And as well as um, I'm putting the Power Color 6900 XT Ultimate in there. And that that's a... Whew, that's a kick, man. I ran that thing. It outbenched my 3080. And of course, um, AMD does have their own version of ray trace. And they call it something else. And now they're coming out with that new high resolution stuff. But just like with DLSS, the first version, they're going to probably have to do a little work on it. You know, I should always wear gloves with this. So this is pretty much here we are with this just about clean. I'll finish that up and get this radiator out, I hope. Okay, so here we are. As you can see, like I said, three fans. Three pin ARGB 5 volt. And then you have your... It's a PMW four four pin. So basically, um, anything that gets four pins to it, usually like three is straight up power, and I'm pretty sure the fourth one is what they use for adjustable. Okay, so hopefully this comes out easily. Um, always like especially with something like this, I always try to cover the glass and um, the back. Just as I said that, I realized, yeah, I didn't cover the copper back. <laughs> so, yeah, I put some, just just some regular old clear uh, packaging tape works fine. You know, just keep it from getting scratched or anything. So, see, this, this, this rod is kind of like was a problem getting something in. So, I hope it's not for getting something out. Okay, so, so far, we're looking so good. Alright, I think we got this. Yes, we do. And I am going to show you something right now that's going to blow your mind. Okay, so as they said in one of them Avenger movies, Nick Fury, that was a good and I kind of like that part. Boop, and I'm not knocking on Lee and Lee, but goodness look at the difference just the radiator alone on this is thicker than the radiator <laughs> and the fan with the fan on it wow that is insane um, and you can see what I mean by the three-in-one fan setup cooler master makes it I think, um, I know Asia Haas makes one, but the ARGB is just like insane. If you like lights, yeah, go there. Um, another one is made by ID Cooler or Cooling. And I know there's another fan company that makes them um, that I like, but the, 
I, I usually go with the Cooler Master. Um, the Asia Hoss, I love Asia Hoss products. I, I go with nothing but Asia Hoss stuff for for um, wiring because of the, the, the material it's made out of. Like Cable Mods makes fantastic stuff, but you don't want to get that material dirty because it's very hard to clean. This is more like I've said it before. It's a, a nylon coated imitation look of a little bit it's a little bit more difficult to work with as far as bending but it's well worth it if you're in and out of your case so here we are we made it this far if there's one one thing I'd, I'd really like to suggest to alpha cool is really avoid putting any type of stickers on a chrome if you can maybe something that has less glue I just spent like 10 minutes literally 10 minutes using 91% alcohol to get the sticker off and I have gooby gone gooby gone glooby gone whatever you want to call the stuff anyways I, 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 I didn't want to use it on the cover on this it's metal inside well mostly ceramic but it's also a plastic cover it's not a metal cover and um, yeah I, I didn't know how that um, glue remover that gooby gone stuff would work as far as damaging I knew it would work but I, I didn't know if it would damage the chrome so I kind of avoided it and I really spent literally like not wanting to scratch it I spent a good a good 10 minutes first I let it kind of absorb I put a piece on there and kind of let it set and soak and then after that it was just rubbing away and wow what a pain in the what a pain in the yes all right oh yeah you know son I'm not gonna use the Arctic I, I, I pulled this out of the bag and it's looks almost identical to the Arctic so it alpha cool recommends you use their thermal paste with it so I, I'll give it a shot and we'll see if I mean whether or not I can tell that a temperature is going to be lower because of that probably not but it looks good it, it's a ceramic it's not a metallic so yeah uh, we'll give it out a shot Okay, one thing worth a mention, definitely worth a mention, if you're going to use an Alpha Cool product, be sure you save their screws and use their screws. They, their thread is different than your everyday generic type thread that they use on radiator screws, even the ones for the CPU. Um, the, the, the long ones that you put the fans in with the whole thing you, you need their threads and unfortunately I kept them and they're also allen keyed so just thought it was worth mentioning don't throw them away or lose them so we're getting close to uh, putting this block in here pretty interesting the way they came out with their idea I mean it's got the typical well their own size screw spring washer and then a nut that goes on it right here so basically you put it on the block like so grab your nut nut um, and, and you can use the screw you can turn the screw I'm not sure exactly how far how much pressure you're supposed to put on it's kind of they didn't they were a little vague on that part of the instructions so I'm going to take a quick look see over it but also what I liked is I guess they give you these little rubber gizmos you can put these over here if you decide to and it kind of helps you slide these over and I guess it kind of holds it in place yeah I guess you need those yeah because that would just keep it loose so definitely kind of cool we're almost there okay just about there 
Bowser. Um, the only thing I found a little difficult was just lining up these screws. There, there's some adjustable notches in there. You got to get it just right. I mean, it wasn't like terribly hard, but you just got to be careful. You don't want to smear your paste all over the place. Your paste. And you want to do a crisscross pattern. And of course, I know a lot of you know this already, but for those who don't, so I didn't, I didn't actually know like the, the screws on the back of the plate how far they're actually supposed to go in. I mean, you know, you put the washers and that little screw on, screw it through, but. As I was messing around with it, I seen it kind of does its own little adjustment. And I could see that when I mounted, I, I pulled off the plate a little bit before I screwed it down. It was already touching the P dot size thing of thermal paste. So I figured it wouldn't be an issue. All right. So basically, this is where we're at here. All I got is this to plug in. And the next time you all take a look at it, hopefully it's running. It'll be back in. We'll get a close-up look at those, the lights. We'll see how the fan works. Um, I'm hoping I got all the wiring back in the back. I mean, it's not like a terribly exotic job with the cable management. And I've never been great with cable management. My brother is like... I don't know how he does it, but he always figures a way how to get things like looking so awesome. Um, but I mean, it's you know when it's yours, it doesn't really matter that much as long as it's neat enough and you're able to work on it. All right, so hopefully this isn't up in smoke when we get back. Look at the size of that radiator! What a monster! Oh my God! Why is it doing this thingy? So I went to two. Huh. Oh, strange. Okay, so we'll be back. Big radiator. Uh -oh. All right. I am back and so here it is look at that beast yo baby wow look at that cable back there I, I gotta I gotta pull that up a little no biggie okay so yeah got some fingerprints on the chrome I'm gonna clean that no big deal I love the blue color on that alpha cool I just ran some 3D mock benchmarks. I ran Time Spy. I ran Port Royal. I ran Fire Strike Ultra. Ultra. I ran Fire Strike Extreme benchmarking in DirectX 11. I did Time Spy in 12. Port Royal was just straight up Port Royal. And I did the other few that are in there. There's uh, like a forest and Eugene, Eugen, Eugen, whatever they call it. That one I ran that like forest one. And um, I did CPUZ. This bad boy is running cool. Let me bring up what did I get here? I got. After all the benchmarking, 38 Celsius, 100.4. That is chill. Not until you get up to around 94, 95, it starts getting close to 200 on the AMD, then you got to start worrying a little bit. That's hot. Okay. Wow, I just stuck my finger right in a damn fan. All right. Let's take a peek, see inside here. Wow. Just one little without getting myself one little bubble right there 
So I did pretty good. Not too. There's another little bubble over there. I tell you what. You can see that. See that fan spinning there? That black. That that's the fan spinning. The the pump. Boy, it's it's going to town. No air anywhere. Even the factories cannot get it 100%. So for two little dots that size, that's pretty darn good. That that's really good because I seen more air come out of factory ones that were made right, you know, on a production line. But then again, it's a production line. Um, yeah, it's sharp. I dig it. I dig it. All right, people. Thank you for being here and watching this. And again, please subscribe and give me a thumbs up. You'll help me keep this video thing going. And again, I'm going to be doing that MSI build and I'm going to be selling that. It's going to have a 58X in it. It's got an ASUS B550 Rogue Strix E version. Gaming E. Motherboard, 32 gigs of RAM at 3200. All top of the line fans, 6900 XT Power Color Ultimate. That's the one that broke the world's record. Not the one, but the same one. It's going to be going for sale, and it's going to be for a price that anybody likes AMD. I wanted to do all AMD builds. Somebody suggested it. I did it and it's all going to be for what i paid for the pots not a penny more and i get it at distributor price so someone's going to get a smoking deal and i'm also going to be doing some other stuff as far as getting um some product going but that's down the line so again thank you for being here feel free to contact me i'm always around everybody stay safe be happy you Later. Ow.